Greetings and welcome to Prayer for America and the Nations. I'm Walter Zigarevich. And I'm Nina Zigarevich. And in the other screen, you see veteran missionary evangelist Tony and Marge Abram. Welcome, Tony and Marge, and welcome <laughs> everyone who has joined us. Please take a quick second, uh -huh. press that share button right now on Facebook. If you're watching us on Facebook, if you're watching us on YouTube or LinkedIn, please share this broadcast uh, with your friends, with your loved ones, with those who you think would be interested in what we have to say and the prayer that goes on here. Today, we are praying for America. We're praying for Ukraine. We're praying for China. And we're praying for your needs. If you have a need you would like us to include during the broadcast, please jot us a quick note right now. Let us know that uh, what your need is so that we may include that in our prayers. Um, if we receive it between broadcasts, we will still pray for you. But do let us know. And let us know also the answers to prayer. Um, we know that God hears our prayers, not just ours, but the prayers of his saints around the world, and he does answer prayer. Well, uh, Nina, you had a something to yeah. share with us before we go further in this broadcast. Yeah, I want to just share an encouraging word the um, Holy Spirit highlighted to me this week, and um, it's very popular. We know this verse. It's Ephesians 3.20. It's in the Amplified Version. It says, now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, our hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. I love this scripture. Of course, the clincher is that it's his power. So we need to be plugged in to him. We need to be intentional about our relationship with the Lord, have our devotions, read the Bible, the word of Lord, the word of God says that faith comes by hearing and reading the word of God. So we need to be in his word. We need to seek him, especially these days. We see what's happening around the world and we just need to call on the name of the Lord and be in his presence, make an time just to spend that special time just with him to hear what he has to say to you about your life and your circumstances and how you can help also pray for people around the world. So anyway, I hope that encourages you that he is able to do super abundantly more than we can ask or even imagine. Amen. And uh, I, I, I think in light of what you just read, Nina, I think that people um, looking at the news, for example, you would think that God is not answering any prayers. Why even pray? Right. But that is not the real story. Mm -hmm. I mean, part of the story is what you're seeing, but that's the negative side. I want you to know that as we talk to pastors mm -hmm. and we do that every day, we're in contact with pastors on the front lines of Ukraine, and they're so thankful for our prayers. They sense our prayers. They sense the strength of our prayers, and uh, they are uh, asking us to Please continue to hold us up oh, in yes. prayer. And there are answers to prayer. Uh, there are miracles <laughs> of incredible intervention of God. Um, that is not to say that there aren't bombs falling and okay. there are some horrible things happening. And we'll talk a little more about Ukraine later. But right now, I want you to know that God answers prayer. And what Nina just read is not a faith. It is not just a bunch of words. It is the word of God. The word of God is real and God's promises are true. And in the midst of chaos, in the midst of the, this awful, awful war in Ukraine, there are miracles of God that are taking place. There are thousands, thanks to your help, thousands that have been rescued from these uh, uh, war zones, uh, thousands that have been fed and continue to be fed. And uh, it's thanks to you. And of course, it is thanks to God because God gives us the ability to help those in need. Tony and March, great to have you on here this morning. And uh, would you greet the people? And I know that uh, you wanted to share a couple of thoughts as well. 
Praise the Lord, Brother Walter and Sister Nina. It's so good to be here today and share the word of God. As you say, there's nothing more important than the word of God and his promises to us. And I'd just like us to look into Romans and, and chapter 4 and verse 17, where it says, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations, talking about Abraham. And he says, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead. And as we think about the season of uh, Jesus suffering, his death and resurrection, we think of, of his, he quickens us and quickens those things which he, which he, Yes, praise the Lord. This print is a little bit small. But anyway, which he, things which were not as though they were. Let's just read that last part again. And calleth those things which be not as though they were. And then going down to verse 21, it says, and being fully persuaded that oh. what he has promised, he is able to perform. Going along with what Nina said. What he has promised, he is able to perform. And then I'm, I'm reminded of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, that says, Let us hold fast the Amen. profession of our faith Hallelujah. without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Yes. And then again, in the same chapter, verse 30, 35, Cast not therefore away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward, for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Aren't these words rich? You know, for you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Yeah. So we, we know we have promises that as we stand on wor God's word, it will come to pass. Amen. So it will not fail. His promises will never fail. He will perform that which he has promised. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're coming also uh, at this Holy Week, as many call it, this very special time of the year when we celebrate uh, the crucifixion and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. He did what nobody else has ever been able to do. He rose from the dead. And it's a special mm -hmm. time of the year. I know that we hold Christmas and, and different other t holidays, but the most important one is the one that we celebrate this week, Passover, or as most call it, Easter. Uh, it's, it's a time, the bringing up to the, to the Sunday when the grave could no longer hold him. He rose from the dead. And it's kind of special. I know that Passover or Christmas, or rather Easter, doesn't come at the same time. Uh, it, it varies from year to year by a few days. Uh, but it's very special to me because the week, my mom was 99 years old. My, my mother said that uh, she felt like she was going home, that she's going to go to be with Jesus. And uh, and I said to her, Mom, if you go, well, you said something too, didn't you, Marge, about, yes. uh, or Frank said it, my I brother did. said, did, yeah. he said, um, uh, I think I might go home to be with Jesus on Friday, which would be Good Friday. Good Friday. And uh, my brother said, well, you don't want to go on that day, do you, Mom? And uh, the Lord had already showed me, and I had spoken to my brother and, and to uh, my wife, Margie yes. here, that I believe mom was going to go home on uh, Easter Sunday morning. And uh, Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection Sunday. And sure enough, when the sun was rising on, on uh, that Resurrection Sunday, 10 years ago, I can't believe it's 10 years already. She closed her eyes in this life, but opened them 
over in glory. And of course, the first one to greet her, like he greets all his children, is the Lord Jesus Christ. He did what nobody else could do. He conquered hell, death, and the grave. And because he lives, you and I can live also. And isn't that wonderful? That Amen. as you listen to uh, this broadcast, as you read the word of God, as you hear godly men and women preaching the gospel, that you have opportunity of receiving him into your heart and into your life and know him as a personal savior. Do you realize that God loves you so much that if you were the only one to ever have lived, Christ would have died for you. He would have paid for your sins. And that's what he did on at Calvary. He became the offering. He became the sacrifice. But he was not, he did not stay dead. <laughs> He rose again. The tomb could not hold him. And mm -hmm. oh, what a day. And we're, we're, this is only Wednesday. We've got a couple mm -hmm. more days to pass over or to Resurrection Sunday to Easter. And when I, I, I trust you will rejoice with us because we're going to be, as much as we can, we're going to be praising the Lord all day. Well, like we do every year at Easter time. And uh, I want to say, Walter and Nina, it's, it's glorious to be able to say that he is risen. Yes. And how do we say it in, in uh, Ukrainian? Christ has risen. And then Easter of the Scots. Uh, truly surely he has ri risen. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we'll pass it back to you guys. Praise God. Praise God. In the midst of death and destruction in Ukraine, there are uh, signs of miracles, of healings, of resurrection, you may say, because this war has not dampened the church. It has not stopped the preaching of the gospel. It has not deterred the work of God. And uh, many people are more open to the gospel than ever before. And many are receiving Jesus into their lives. Many of the churches, as they give out food, they include um, a gospel tract or perhaps a New Testament uh, in some cases. And uh, food, it continues to be distributed as well as medicines, in some places water. But um, in the midst of the rubble, the church is working. 80% of the volunteer work, meaning feeding the needy, and evacuating the people is being done by who? By the churches, by Amen. believers. Isn't that a powerful testimony? And uh, it wasn't government agencies. It wasn't the big international uh, aid agencies. It was the church of Jesus Christ. And so we are thankful for your part in yes. that. We continue to send support. And let me tell you, it is meeting an urgent, urgent need in various parts of Ukraine. Um, and uh, so we continue to do that um, in the messages we received just before the broadcast. Kharkiv on the edges is burning. Mass, uh, 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 masses are leaving the city again because for three days they have been heavily, heavily bombarded. Uh, some of the supermarkets are on fire. And so this is this makes it difficult for people to stay and live there. But the pastor says, we're not going anywhere. We're, we, we're going to continue to stay and minister to the people. That is a resolve. That is resiliency. And we pray that God will continue to protect the pastors, the leaders, the volunteers who are on the front lines day in and day out, taking supplies to these to the people that cannot help themselves. Uh, we've been posting bits and pieces here, but the story is much larger. And uh, how many times we've uh, heard 
from these pastures where they were delivering food and just moments before, moments after a bomb or some sort of shell fell. But while they're there, they were protected by God. In Kharkiv, in one occasion, one of the uh, persons was delivering food 10 seconds after they left, meaning they just got in the car and pulled away a bomb fell there where they were standing a few moments before. So there are testimonies like this over and over again. I interviewed a pastor from Nova Kahovka yesterday. Nova Kahovka is in Kherson. It's the first town, the first city that was taken over by Russian forces. It happened within a matter of hours because it's very close to Crimea, and it is a strategic city in that that is where there, the dam that controls the water to Crimea is located. There's an electrical station there as well. And that was crucial, but it happened so quickly. The pastor said they were just in shock. They were in disbelief. They could not believe what was happening. And uh, I mean, he said that the bombing started um, uh, at 4.30 in the morning. By 11 a.m., there was a Russian flag flying over them. They said, what do we do? They didn't think this was going to happen. Not like this. You know, people anticipated maybe there'll be a war to, uh, from the eastern side and so on. But here we are. What do we do? How how are we gonna? Uh, how do we react? What do we do? We you know supposedly we're under another government right now, just like that within a few hours, and uh, um, and, and there were people that tried to escape and were shot, were killed, and he shared how that. For 10 days, they could not come out of that uh, uh, underground shelter. shelter. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, was, it was just horrible conditions like this, running out of food, running out of supplies, very difficult. But miraculously, they were able to get out of that city just as they began to search out for pastors to arrest them or to compromise them. If, uh, if they didn't compromise, they would arrest them. And so um, th that is not the way it is in Ukraine. Ukraine has full religious liberty. People can preach the gospel anywhere. And this, but under Russian rule, what do they? What are they doing? After they uh, get rid of or arrest or, or, or destroy the soldiers and, and try to compromise the town officials, the next thing is they go after the pastors. And that's what has been happening. So let's continue to pray for the occupied regions of Ukraine. Now let's continue especially to pray for uh, the Donbass region, which includes Luhansk and Donetsk. And part of that region is the, is the, the city of Mariupol, mm -hmm. um, the worst bomb city in all of Ukraine. But in the midst of that rubble, there are people still there, thousands of people. And uh, we need to continue to pray for them that God would miraculously open the channel, open the way, just like he parted the Red Sea, he would make a way out and a way in for supplies to reach the people there. Mm -hmm. So let's continue to pray for that. Yes, people at the risk of their lives have been escaping from that city. Um, when they arrive in places like Zaporizhia, their cars are usually full of bullet holes, but they are escaping as many as can. When they arrive there, our pastor friend, uh, Vasily, he's, uh, he's feeding people there. Other churches are feeding people there. And he talks to these people and he says, well, you know, what about, did, did all your family come out? No, sadly, we don't know where so-and-so is and so-and-so, you know, there's no communications. They, they got out, they left, they, they couldn't find all their relatives. So sometimes even within a family, part of the family escape and part of it is someplace in that rubble, someplace in one of those uh, underground shelters or, or um, basements uh, during this time. So it's a very difficult time. But Nikolaev, a city that's been hit very, very hard, and uh, they are resilient. There are even grandmas taking up arm and joining. I posted a picture. Grandma started coming to church. Um, well, this grandma took on uh, um, the uh, went and signed up for the territorial army, as they call it, or yes, it would be like our National Guard to defend the city. 
And so people are resilient. They continue to work. The churches, as much as is possible, continue to get together. Um, some of them get together every day. Uh, the, the ones that can, they get together every day for prayer. And then they go out and distribute help and help people. Mm -hmm. And um, What's uh, amazing is in one of the cities, Mikolai, is they're bombing there. They're being constantly being bombed, but they are having church this last Sunday. Was it this last Sunday, I yeah. believe? And the church picture, they're packed. People are praying and they're singing. And they had 20 people that gave their lives to the Lord last Sunday. So praise the Lord. God is working. And um, it's amazing the resolve in these pastors. They tell us that we really feel your prayers because we don't have the fear that we that a human should have. We're having, we have the boldness, we have the strength to keep going every day, even though the net tomorrow's not promised, but today we're doing what we can for God. So the, the church is that working as the hands and feet of Jesus. We, God bless them. Amen. We Amen. need to point out also that uh, many of these uh, workers, these pastors, uh, especially the ones you're working with um, and others in these other cities, have been trained by you, by myself, by uh, by Brother Fiddler and and uh, Sister Marcy, and and we could name a whole lot of them uh, that have taught them, and they are the ones that are have stayed behind and have been helping, feeding, working, trying to help the people. They haven't run. They haven't uh, run from the flock. They are actually with the flock, just like. Uh, the scriptures point out they're they're concerned about their people. Yes, many have gone to the uh, other countries as uh, with I don't believe with so much fear. It's it's just using your head. It's just like I I was talking on the phone the other day to uh, Michelle Heinzoff. She's on her she was on her way uh, on, over to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Russian names and the Ukrainian names for these cities. But she was going there and uh, to do what she could do and uh, preach in a, in, in a school. The Bible school is still going on in Lviv. Lviv. Yes. And um, th there she was on her way. And I, but I said to her, I said, Michelle, remember this, because she even has a visa. She could go on to Russia. But uh, I said to her, it's one thing to be captured and thrown into the lion's den. But it's another thing to just walk up to the lion's den and mm -hmm. jump in on your own. So you got to be careful. And these brethren, I believe, are being careful. And uh, some of the people, yes, have gone. But these ministers, it just thrills my heart because. Uh, these are men of God that God is keeping them just like Daniel was kept uh, when when he was thrown in the lion's den. He didn't jump in. They threw him in. And these brethren over there, they didn't want this to be happening. They didn't want to have to do what they are doing, but they are doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe, Walter, that's why uh, bombs have fallen all around them and not gone, gone off. It's because God has kept them. Now, I know that some have, or some have already gone to be with the Lord. There has been some that have been killed, uh, and they are actually martyrs. Uh, and, and God, they've gone to their eternal reward. But there's so many that are, that you're working with and the funds that are coming in. I know that you're, you're getting a lot of the funds in through to the, the, these very men and women that you train. And so we need to thank God. And as we pray, we need to pray for wisdom on their part and, and divine protection. And Tony, we want to say how much we appreciate Walter and Nina for the work that they're doing and the yes. telephoning. They're talking on the phone with these ministers, encouraging them. Uh, that, is, that, that is such a ministry of encouragement to them and telling them that we're standing in faith with them. We're, yes. we're holding them up in prayer Amen. for God's protection and their needs to be met. And as they minister to others, 
So we appreciate you, Walter and Nina. Continue to do the good work that you're doing of ministering and encouraging these pastors, keeping in touch with them, and keeping in, in touch with what is happening. Well, we oh, thank okay. you, and we thank all who have uh, given. Uh, given, because that's made a huge, huge difference. And like I said, yeah. uh, it was the church help the, that that had first reached the people. Just now, in some places, some larger organizations are showing up. But it is so dangerous uh, if they show up. They 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 take so many precautions, uh, and and sometimes this stuff doesn't reach the people because the so zones are so dangerous. But uh, in the midst of all of this. People are receiving Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you're seeing is that um, uh, drive uh, pastors behind a wheel of vans and trucks, taking supplies and hauling people out. And uh, there are so many people, they can't get them all in the vehicles. And they are so sad that they have to leave people behind. So some of these people, we've heard their uh, stories uh, uh, they've been in these uh, bomb shelters, sometimes a family living for a whole month. Can you imagine? Uh, I mean, obviously no showers, no, you know, way of bathing, uh, just on uh, uh, food types of foods that uh, usually are not heated food because you there's nowhere to cook there. If you go out of the bomb shelter, it is dangerous. And some people in some cases will go outside and cook outside. But in some places that is so dangerous. So people just stay inside. But day in and day out, uh, uh, pastors are risking their own lives and pastors and other volunteers going to some of these cities that one day might be under Ukrainian uh, military, the next day the Russians could be there or vice versa in places where active battles are still going on or very close by, but they are going into those places, taking supplies and uh, taking people out. We help purchase a van there. And let me tell you, they load it up sometimes mm -hmm. with 20 people. Not supposed to carry that many, but there's so many people. It's an emergency. You have to get as many as you physically can. And uh, But um, uh, Pastor Sergey has written us that thanks to our help, they've been able to evacuate thousands. They've been able to, he didn't say evacuate, he said save thousands mm -hmm. and bring them to safe a city, safe harbor cities. Um, they're still on the eastern side, but they're safer cities than they were in before where bombs aren't falling over their heads. Um, so we continue to do that. If you want to uh, take part financially, you can go, if you're in the United States, uh, you can write a check to Global Vision Ministries, PO Box 5377. El Dorado Hills, California, 95762. Uh, you can go to our webpage and press the donate button and donate right now using PayPal or Givelify. And um, there are other options that we will post when the broadcast is over. And uh, we want to thank Tony and Marge Abram and their ministry for what they've done right. in uh, raising funds to help and um, in other ministries and churches that have helped and individuals, many individuals, every bit counts. And as I've said before, and I'll say again, 100% uh, of what you designate for Ukraine is going to mm -hmm. Ukraine. The needs are great and the needs continue day in and day out. But thank you so much. Before we go any further, Brother Tony, would you, excuse me, would you lead us in a prayer for Ukraine? Our Father and our God, during this week that we consider and we call Holy Week, Lord, I, I bring my brothers and sisters, especially those in Ukraine. And Lord, uh, in the natural, we look at it and we would not call this Holy Week when we see what is yes. happening round about us or round about oh, them. Geez. But Lord, we look above that. We see the master. We see the Christ yes. who rose from the dead, who could take the impossible and make possible 
who yes. said, if you can believe, all things are possible Jesus. to him that believeth. And Lord, as we pray Lord. for the people of Ukraine, yes. we ask for yes. divine protection yes. that you will continue, yes. Lord, to do miracles of safety, yes. of deliverance. Yes. And then, Lord, we bring these precious yes. ministers ministries lord yes. lord uh, not only the ones that we're involved with but lord all the ministries that are offering the love of god we thank you for what global vision is doing lord we ask that you bless uh, each and every one who has given lord those who have blessed abundant life crusades uh, especially in canada and the united states uh, that has made it possible for us to help, Lord, in this outreach. And I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we might be able to continue to help and we might see your hand in, in the lives of all these people, Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, that they will be fed, uh, that they will have water to drink, uh, they will have blankets to cover themselves. Uh, and Lord, uh, they'll have protection, but most of all, that they may know that the Lord Jesus Christ is with them, that he has not departed, uh, and that uh, what is happening uh, is not the work of God. It is the work of the enemy who comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. And we see that evil spirits uh, are at work. Uh, Lord, just like each generation, it yes. seems, uh, has some uh, someone uh, that rises up uh, and has murder in his heart, uh, has murder in his eyes. Uh, and Lord, uh, we pray for those Russian leaders, uh, Lord, that are deceiving their own Russian people, Lord, uh, that is causing them to fight to kill to destroy and but we bind in the name of jesus christ uh, these evil spirits uh, lord that kill still and destroy we take authority over it in jesus name and we continue to speak divine divine protection over the people of god and lord that you use them we thank you, Lord, for these 20 in the church service on Sunday, one church, Lord, there, that in spite of the bombing, in spite of uh, the destruction, here they're gathering together, and many unsaved are coming, and they're finding Christ. Uh, Lord, those that are being fed uh, are receiving uh, the message uh, of God's love. Uh, and may there this week we see multitudes in Ukraine, the, those who do not know you as Savior, Lord, and Master. Let them come to the uh, saving knowledge uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, let them call upon your name and be saved, uh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, do a work. Uh, our hearts are grieved, uh, Lord, when we look upon what we see here, Lord. Uh, it brings tears to our eyes, but those tears will help us see more clearly uh, what is happening. Uh, and Lord, we pray in Jesus' name for divine protection. Uh, bless Walter and Nina and their, their work, Lord. Uh, as they endeavor to work, especially with these that we've trained, uh, Lord, in the schools of evangelism, uh, Lord, uh, in, the, in, the, in the outreaches, the crusades, uh, the church plantings, uh, Lord, uh, use, uh, use them, use Walter and Nina, Lord, as they even broadcast uh, to, and cause people uh, to be uh, tuned in. We realize there are those uh, on some of the platforms uh, that do not want this message to go because they do not believe, because they are pricked in their hearts. But Lord, we pray that you melt their hearts, uh, that we give favor, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
so that even people watching uh, will not only give of their finances, but the most important, that they may give their hearts and lives uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, because he gave his all for us. This we pray. We pray for the leadership, the Lord, uh, in Ukraine. Yes. We pray for those pray that for are them. working in, in natural things, in, in, in the medical, Lord, yes. uh, and all these, oh, in the transportation, uh, Lord, we ask that you would just keep them in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Father, we bind every principality and ruler of darkness that is trying to destroy the nation of Ukraine. And in the name that is above every name that is named the name of Jesus Christ, we release peace. We release salvation. We release deliverance. We release healing, revival in Ukraine and in the regions surrounding this nation. And Father, we pray for a divine uh, closing of the skies above every part of Ukraine yes, for the protection Jesus. of the people. Please and Father, Lord, we bind those Jesus. demonic spirits that are pushing people yes, towards Jesus. this war to continue. And we say, no, we arrest you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we bind those demonic spirits. And we say, no, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we say, your kingdom come, yes, your Jesus. will be done. Your governors, yes, governance, Jesus. your direction, yes. your blessing come upon the nation of Ukraine. Yes, and Lord, Father, Jesus. we thank you that you have heard and you hear our <clears throat> prayers. And Lord, we yes, thank you Jesus. that you you are responding and we thank you that out of this rubble will come out even a stronger church a greater revival yes, that will not only influence ukraine but the entire region and the world in the name of jesus yes, christ in amen jesus. and amen praise amen. god amen. brother tony i think one of the interesting things that uh, several things that i wanted to mention one is these areas that are most affected are the very areas that we have worked and we have labored in um, planting churches, mm -hmm. training workers over the last 30 years. And it is these areas that right now are the ones that are so heavily affected, but it is not going to stay this way. I believe, and I'm, I'm trusting God for a mighty move of God um, because many souls, many more souls are going to come to Jesus Christ in the Donbass area, the Kharkiv mm -hmm. area, the Zaporizhia area, the Kherson area, the Kalayev, and uh, all that, uh, that whole eastern, uh, central eastern regions of Ukraine, um, Poltava and, 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 and regions beyond. So we're believing God. And uh, the other thing that came to mind um, is one of the things the pastor said yesterday when all of this stuff was happening, he was in the city, the first city that was taken over by Russians down in Kherson region. And uh, he said for like two days, uh, he, he couldn't pray, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't read his Bible. It was just like, you know, you didn't know what to do. It was just, he was like in shock. And this tells you, and he's not the only one I've heard this from. I, we've heard it already now from several people mm -hmm. that we've interviewed. This tells us the importance of our intercessory prayer. They need our prayers. It is moments like that when people are in this flight uh, or fright of uh, a type of um, um, response. Human response. response. It's a human response. Um, people are just in, in this, they're not able to think or rationalize or even pray sometimes. And, and it was only two days later that he started to calm down. But he says, you know, for, for a long period of time, even after they left for some of these people, and some of these are ministers, for seven days, they were like, shaking. They were just shooken up so badly by what had happened. And so 
It is your prayers and my prayers that sustain mm -hmm. these people during those moments. Do not stop praying. That's right. And that is so, so crucial. But you know, an interesting thing in the Kali of the pastor, one of the pastor, Pastor Igor's wife, Dina, we pray for her. She's getting better. She ended up in the hospital with a pre-cardiac or a, a concern. During the bombing. During the bombings and all. You can imagine a person's heart Stressful. would start uh, to have issues. She ended up in the hospital. Well, she's evangelizing people in the hospital. They, they were visiting her in the hospital and they would bring uh, food to the people, workers in the hospital. Now the church is feeding people because there are people who lost their homes, have no place to go. They're eating in the hospital cafeteria. Well, the church is bringing food to feed those people. Uh, the sister Dina, who ended up in the hospital, ends up being an evangelist in the mm -hmm. hospital to the people there. It reminds me of your, your mom, mom Tony, yeah. when she ended up uh, having a broken ankle or something, and she ended up evangelizing the uh, rehab center, uh, the rehab center <laughs> that she was in. And mm -hmm. I, I don't think it was good that they got sick, but in the but God used that situation to evangelize people. Well, um, there is something else has been on the news and we have had prayer requests coming in from friends in China. Uh, I'm sure that you've seen of, uh, images of what is happening in Shanghai. And that's one very specific city that we have been asked to pray for. And not just that city, but the entire nation. And our prayer has been for some time for God to move in a more powerful way in China. And uh, in the midst of what is happening right now, I, I, I'm believing that the Church of Jesus Christ, which in China, many of the churches meet in homes and apartments, that in the midst of this lockdown, while they're locked in these buildings, that that church would be used right now to evangelize and to help people in those apartments because people are desperate in those apartments. So let's pray for a turnaround. Let's pray for God to intervene in that nation. They, of course, need um, healing from the virus, but some of the measures that are taken are draconian. And I know that uh, um, in the midst of trials and situations like this, God uses people in those difficult situations to bring others to Jesus Christ. Uh, March, would you lead uh, us in a prayer or Tony for, for China? Uh, you've yes. ministered in China, you ministered in Taiwan, and uh, um, would you pray? Yes. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, you, we hear about what is happening in China, Lord. The difficulty there is in preaching the gospel, but Lord, many have given their lives and are preaching. Lord, despite the persecution they are having, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring these workers, these that are called to preach, Lord, these that are ministering to these people, Lord, that do not believe in God even, Lord, because their atheism is taught there. But Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for these workers. We pray for their protection, Lord. We pray for the people to receive the word of God, their hearts to be open, Lord. Those, Father, that are laboring in the hard, difficult places, Lord, in the smaller towns, villages, and Lord, in the cities where it's very hard and difficult for them. Father, in Jesus' name, and we pray for the need of the people. They're hungry, those that are hungry for the gospel and hungry for food. And Lord, we pray for them. Oh, Father, meet their needs. And Lord, I pray in Jesus' name against all the forces of the devil who have tried to hold back the word of God from going forth. In the name of Jesus, we pray right now for the word of God to go forth, Lord. We bind the all the earthly heavenlies and all the areas that the demons are in, Lord, we just bind them in Jesus name yes. from them holding Amen. back the word of God to these people. Lord, Lord I pray in Jesus name for China from yes. one end, from the east to the west, the north to the south, the great yes. nation of China. And as we include Taiwan and Hong Kong, Lord, oh, we God. pray for them too, for the gospel to go forth and yes. the word there, Lord, to 
give them boldness, Lord. Give them boldness as they speak the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Fill them with your Holy Spirit and power and use them for the glory Amen. of God, we pray. And Lord, let the word of God Amen. just Amen. reach Amen. these people, Lord, Amen. with your word and your love, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. And I thank you, Lord, that you are working. You are working as we pray and intercede for them. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, right now. Thank you for your word going forward. It will accomplish that for which it's sent. And Lord, we take those things that are not as those that, that are. In Jesus' name, we believe that, Lord, as Abraham believed the promise, and Lord, he was he was positive, Lord, that you would bring him to the promised land, bring his people to the promised land. And Lord, he looked for the maker of, of the heavens and earth and, and the maker of the new place that they would dwell in, Lord. And Father, his faith, Lord, we honor it. And Lord, we ask for faith amongst God's people and they take the boldness and the, the power that you've given us yes. to use it for the glory of God yes. and hear that and answer prayer as we believe you, as we stand on your precious promises and word in Jesus' name we pray amen and lord we pray for shanghai yes lord i know that in the past that in the mainland yes. china that's where we did most of our ministry and lord yes. uh, we pray yes. for those that we met there those that we ordained yes, lord. Uh, lord those that uh, yes, uh stu stood in uh, great need when we were there Jesus. the need is great now because lord, the whole city Father. is shut down yes, and lord, lord we pray that uh, that virus would die in jesus, in jesus name, name. In jesus and that the people name. would be free oh, in jesus name oh, lord we just yeah. claim it we claim uh, for name. people who for many years, like the Balcoms over there, Lord, yes. in Hong Kong, uh, Lord, uh, undertake for them yes, and, and for those in Taiwan, Lord, yes, uh, in the name of in Jesus, Jesus uh, Lord, you yes, know uh, Lord. that we love those in people uh, in Taiwan, uh, from the north to the southeast and from the name. west, uh, we oh, ministered uh, yes, uh, in so many oh, places, yes, uh, and Lord, we pray Jesus, for the people Father, there, Father, in Father, Jesus' Father. name. Oh, Jesus. And not only for China, for all the nations of the world, uh, Lord, for uh, for America, the yes, United Lord. States, for Canada, yes, for Latin Lord. America, Lord, the nations, uh, for Lord. the islands uh, of the sea, uh, yes. Lord, for all Asia. of Asia, for yes. India, for the country, Lord. many countries of Africa, Lord, yes, uh, Lord. in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus. Uh, Lord, name we ask Jesus. that you would just move uh, yes, for Lord. all of Europe, uh, yes, all Lord. of Asia, my yes, Father, Lord. in Jesus' yes, name. Amen. And Lord, we don't hear so much uh, about spiritual things coming out of Australia and New Zealand. Uh, but Lord, we know that you're working even there in the islands in the South Pacific. Uh, yes, Lord, Lord, let there be uh, let there be an outpouring of the Spirit of God, uh, and let people be coming to you, Lord, uh, by the multitudes, uh, multitudes uh, coming to you, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let to be a move of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we humbly come before you and we ask for your kingdom to come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in the United States of America and all the nations, Lord. Father, revive us again. May the church operate in the authority that you have given us to see demonic strongholds fall. Father, fill your church with renewed faith and expectancy. May revival start in the hearts of believers as you empower your church to move in supernatural power, demonstrating in signs and wonders. Father, send revival to every town, every every city and state. 
pour out your spirit upon every state capital. May your Holy Spirit hover over this nation, awaking the hearts of the people. Father, we pray for every politician in this country to be drawn to you and to acknowledge you as their Lord and Savior. Remove those who continue and willingly deceive and do evil in our land. Father, I pray for the children in this country that you would protect and shield their minds. Continue to raise up parents to stand up and say no to the woke radical agenda. Father, pour out your revival on the youth. Reveal yourself to them. Father, forgive us, the church, for allowing the enemy to continue to abort innocent lives. We repent from this atrocity. Father, as the Supreme Court deliberates abortion laws, may they have compassion to save lives. May they rule with integrity and not be swayed by popular agendas. Father, our hearts go out to the children being trafficked and are suffering. Lord, expose those who are harming the children. May these children be found and set free in Jesus' name. We bind the Antichrist spirit that has come against this country. We stand against all demonic powers of perversion, deception, murder, hatred, and lawlessness in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we release the spirit of your love to bring repentance over the nations. Father, empower all of us with the boldness of the Holy Spirit. Let your remnant move as a mighty army of God to declare and to establish Lord over Jesus, Lord, over the United States of America. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And you can pray that over your nation, yes, whether it be Lord Canada Jesus. or Mexico or Cuba or China or uh, Germany. It Thank doesn't you, matter. Jesus. You pray that type of prayer for your nation. Uh, Brother Tony, there are people that tune in that uh, don't uh, that need uh, don't don't know Jesus as their Savior. Would you lead them in a prayer of salvation? Invite them to receive Christ, and then also those who are sick and afflicted and need healing. Would you pray for those afterwards? This being uh, uh, Holy Week, this being a week that we think about the. And I trust more than Easter bunnies and more than colored eggs, we think about the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I want to say to you that do not know him as a personal Savior. I want to say to you that this is, there couldn't be a better week than this week. There couldn't be a better day than today because the Bible says today is your day of salvation today right now and wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to think yes it was doing the week of easter the week that christians around the world were celebrating the resurrection of the lord jesus christ and it wouldn't be wonderful that you could say because he lives i can live also and it can happen. The beginning of a new birth, Jesus said to Nicodemus in the third chapter, John, ye must be born again. How can you be born again, said he? It's born being born of the spirit. Because even though you're alive physically, if you haven't received Jesus, you are dead spiritually. But when you receive him, you call upon him. He gives life to your spirit. He, you become his, the temple of the Holy Spirit. He, he lives within you. So as, I, as we pray the, this prayer, if you pray it and mean it from your depths of your heart, you'll know you can, you can begin this life. You can begin to embrace. You can begin to follow Jesus. And he can be a, not a, just a God of the heavens, but a personal savior to you. Are you ready? Put your hand on your heart and pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father,
Heavenly Father. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God. I believe that Christ died for me. I believe that Christ died for me. And I believe that he rose from the dead. And I believe that he rose from the dead. And I confess I am a sinner. And I confess I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I cannot save myself. But Lord, you paid the price. But Lord, you paid the price. That I might be born again. That I might be born again. And I call on your name. And I call on your name. For you said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For you said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I say, Lord Jesus. And I say, Lord Jesus. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. I And I promise. And I promise. With your help. With your help. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to serve you i'm going to serve you and with my mouth and with my mouth i confess i confess jesus christ is lord jesus christ is lord he's lord of my spirit he's lord of my spirit my mind and my body my mind and my body help me lord help me lord in jesus name in jesus name amen amen now if you prayed that and you believe that that something wonderful has happened. Christ has forgiven you of your sins, never to be remembered to get against you again, because when God forgives, he forgets. Now, I know that sometimes we can offend one another. It's just like my wife. Sometimes I, I have offended her. We've been married almost 60 years. And so uh, there's been times she's got, got angry. But she always forgives me, but not like she's and not you like forgive me also. <laughs> yes, yes. And but it's hard to forget. But with God, yes. not only he does he forgive, he forgets. Praise the Lord. Now you need to do something to grow in the knowledge. You say, Well, I don't quite understand that. Well, here's what to do. Talk to him every day about it. Talk to him like a friend. Do Talk to God. Can you do it? Yes. Praying is talking to God. When you pray, who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> yourself? Well, yeah, you can talk to yourself. Like the fellow has said, uh, uh, the reason he talked to himself, he'd like to uh, hear an uh, intelligent person speak, and he liked to talk to an intelligent person. That's why he spoke to himself. But when we speak as a Christian, we're speaking to God. And second, <laughs> Let God speak to you. And when you read the word of God, the Bible, that's one way he speaks to us. And third, talk to others about him. Tell your family that Jesus is your Lord, that during this holy week, you can confess Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and become a part of a, not a part of a church, a part of a Bible-believing church so that you can grow in the knowledge of the Lord. And, and, and as the chorus goes, you would be able to start singing this too. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. And listen, I have met tens of thousands of Christian believers around the world. And I've never had one ever come up to me and say, Tony Abram, the day that Jesus Christ came into my life, Oh, that was a sorry day. No, I met a lot of sorry looking Christians, but none that was ever sorry they became a believer. And I'll tell you what, when you serve the Lord, he puts a joy that the world can't take away. Just like not uh, he can't it, he can't take it away because God gives it to you. Jesus said, Peace I give unto you, not as the world give give I unto you. And I see him going long and Walter's, you see Walter, though, he can take it away from me. Take it away, Brother Walter. <laughs>
Well, uh, before we close, we want to pray for those who are in need of healing. And I uh, just want to say again, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for supporting the work of God around the world. And uh, at this time, the needs in Ukraine, um, uh, we want to thank you for, to everyone who has uh, had a part in that. And let me tell you, the people so much appreciate all the help that we've been able to send and continue to send there. And most of all, continue to pray. That is having an impact that is touching many, uh, many lives are being touched. It is an answer to prayer. But um, uh, tonight, if you are up in the wake uh, at 9.15 p.m. Uh, Pacific, uh, it'll be 12.15 a.m. Uh, East Coast. So I'll be in Nepal doing a service, and uh, we'll try to broadcast that on here. It'll be a baptism service, mm -hmm. but I won't get in the water. Uh, I'll just be uh, <laughs> doing the speaking from here. Uh, and But uh, tune in nightly. I try to give a, an update on uh, the situation in Ukraine and lead a short prayer. Uh, so tune in. I do those at different times, kind of sporadically. Um, and uh, partly it's because when we receive fresh, urgent requests for prayers, I get on and share some of those with you. But thank you again for joining us. Before we close, Tony, please, would you pray for those who are sick and need of healing right now or a financial breakthrough? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for every man, woman, and child, we, wherever they are, whether they're in Ukraine, whether they're in Russia, or whether they're in America, whether they're in Canada, or what part of the world they might be, and some little island, Lord, listening, uh, watching, uh, Lord, uh, through the internet, I pray for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I pray, Lord, in the name that's above every name, that your healing virtue will flow into everyone. You see the requests that have come in uh, yes, through the uh, yes, Facebook Lord. and through the other yes, platforms, Lord. And we Jesus. ask in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, Jesus. that you would heal. We curse those Jesus. cancers. Uh, we curse those COVID. Yes. Uh, Lord, uh, yes. that virus die in Jesus' name. Uh, Lord, uh, let that cancer yes. roots die. Uh, Lord, you see the men, the women, the children uh, the suffering with uh, blood conditions. Uh, Lord, suffering with uh, uh, with infections. Uh, Lord, you see the ears, uh, the eyes that need touched by the hand of God. Uh, Lord, the inward condition, the outward condition. And we send the word of healing, healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, I say to that pain, uh, pain, leave the body. You see our dear brother Harley Fiddler suffering in such pain. Lord, we send the word of healing to him. We see people like uh, uh, Kenny, Lord, uh, where his whole family needs a touch from you, and especially him, Lord. Uh, Lord, he needs healing in his body. Uh, and Lord, uh, there are so many, uh, Lord, that uh, we could not take time now to list each one, but you know each one, whether they're in England, whether they're in Canada, wherever they might be, uh, in Jesus' name, we send the word of healing, healing, heal the men, heal the women, heal the children, heal those babies, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we sense in our spirit, uh, Lord, that you're doing it. Uh, we bind those spirits that cause anxiety, that cause depression. You see the one that was even the enemy has put uh, suicide in their brain. Uh, we come against that in Jesus' name. Uh, and we loosen them, Lord. Uh, and Lord, meet every material need, uh, Lord, that people may have. Uh, Lord, that's, that's causing them uh, to uh, become depressed. Uh, set them free in the name of Jesus, in the name of God, I sense in my spirit, God is doing things to everyone that believes right now. Receive now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Put your faith in action. Begin to do what you couldn't do. Begin to act like you haven't been acting. 
become free, become set free in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Put your faith in action. Try to do what you could not do, believing that God has answered this prayer, believing Amen. that the healing is yours for Amen. it is by his stripes that you are healed, that we are healed. His blood sets us free out of the hand of the devil. His blood washes away all our sins, but it is his suffering, his uh, uh, the stripes laid on his back that paid for your healing and my healing. Mm -hmm. And as we celebrate this uh, a week of uh, remembering the death of Jesus Christ and then the resurrection, let us remember that he paid for our salvation. He paid for our healing. Mm -hmm. He paid for our deliverance. Folks, thank you for joining us. Let's not forget Jesus Christ is the, the same, same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. God bless God you. God bless you.